that on. Just start to slosh that on. Not coming too far in because I want to keep a lot of light in, in here. So I'm going to change colour now. I'm going to go into a yellowy colour. Oops, dropping water everywhere. I'm going to use um, my transparent yellow, wherever that's gone. <laughs> um, which is quite a bright, um, clean yellow. Which is a bit too strong. I've got the other one to come through. I'm going to clean that out. A bit of dirtiness in that prop. So transparent yellow. Okay, that's quite golden even. Never mind, we'll give this a go. I'm going to bring this in. I'm just, I'm, again, I'm not taking it right to the... Um, the edge. I'm just going to let it. I'm going to tip it in a minute and let it bleed and merge and do what it wants to do. Get rid of that hair, and then I'm going to put some ochre now down the bottom. So some ochre colours. So ochre being the um, slightly dirtier yellow, less less bright yellow. So let's take that. And we'll slosh that on the bottom. Just wiggle that around a little bit. Colour of that up in there. Okay. And then I actually need a little bit more of the, of the green, the yellowy colour down in here. So I'm going to bring some of that in here. A few bits of yellow. All the way down. And remember all of this and um, this stuff here is going to get a lot darker so if you go over it it doesn't really matter. Um, a bit more yellow up here in the in the, the grasses, which will be the grasses later. Get some of that on. Perhaps a bit up into my netting area. A little bit down there. Uh, just bring some of the greens into the into the netting just to link it all together and then um i think we also need some i'm gonna go a little bit more burnt sienna i think <clears throat> not too strong but i want to get some of those orangey bits in while it's so it can all percolate and and, and meld Particularly down here, I think. So my grass comes through there, so this is all going to be dark. So let's just drop a bit of this in. Down here. What was that colour you using? It's just burnt sienna. Oh, burnt sienna, okay. Yeah, just a bit of that. a slightly darker brown. Oh, I've got to get, okay. Lovely colours. Yeah, so lots of nice colour, yeah. It's lovely. Yeah. A few bits in there. We'll have a little bit of that perhaps over here, just to tie it together. Uh, we can have, I don't know, let's flick a bit of that in the, in the beach. A few spots. Okay, and it actually needs to go a bit pinkier, I think, in the beach. So I'm going to go. I'm going to use a little bit of alizarin red. Ooh. Um, and put some of the sky blue in it. So it's slightly purpley, but not too purple. Just to make it so when it mixes with the the yellows, it should go a bit orange, um, 
just to give it a bit of variation, really. We'll have a bit of that in here. And I'm trying to angle this slightly because obviously I want the beach to feel like it's coming up, up this way. So I'll bring some of these colours in here. Wiggle that all the way back. Very light up there. I'm watching this one and I'm not doing this one. <laughs> Bring some of that through. Okay, and a bit, a bit down in here, just to link that together. Oh, yeah. Like a little purpley pink. Okay, we need to bring some of that actually up into underneath here. be behind the the root clump but hopefully that will dry fairly light I don't want that to be too dark uh, okay and then I think just for initial color actually no we'll leave the root clump for the moment I think that will be fine um, what I may even do is just tip a little bit of gum arabic just on that just to show you what it kind of does just going to use my brush <clears throat> dipping i'm just dipping into the the gum arabic here okay and i'm going to run this oops if i can keep it on the brush hopefully you can still see that because i want this to tip i want it to tip over this way a bit so i'm just going to run a bit of this be fine just to get on onto my beach, get that running. And this is just the sort of blue, the, the cerulean and the um, the yellowy kind of colours, the orangey yellow colours together. <coughs> is all I'm using for this. It's up in the um, up in the foliage. So, oops, it's a bit too blue. A bit more. Um, a bit more of the yellowy colours in there. <clears throat> so it's kind of a bluey, greeny, grey, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Yeah. Just to get a bit of undercolour into the um, into the trunks, just. A lot of it is just so I can see where I'm going more than anything, because there's a lot of um, uh, bits and pieces all coming off here, there and everywhere. So I just want to almost just define where some of the main main elements are. Really. Uh, so we've got uh, some trunks coming up here, uh, not trunks, branches I should say. Some branches there. I'm going to leave some of them light. I'm going to paint them all dark. Coming down. And obviously all of this is going to go probably much, much darker. But for the for the moment, this is this is fine. It's just to establish um, some of these colours to start off with. Okay, and then we'll put a bit of water in there as well, just to get that running. Just wash that out a bit. Tip it, oops, let's put a bit more water in and we'll tip it. More color. So I want I want the um, the colours to kind of split a little bit, which it's sort of doing. Where the um, the cerulean is uh, heavier than the the yellow, so I'm getting this sort of bluey yellow mix of colour. <clears throat> 
and we'll bring that in here. So we've got the base of this trunk that kind of comes there. Then there's a little gap. And then there's another bit of trunk. Mm. This, this is very dark in here. Uh, a bit more blue. So it's all dark there. And then we're going to do the kind of grasses and all the dark grasses and stuff over there. So we'll get some of that on there, just as a colour change. A bit more water. Just run that away over there. So that is probably enough for the first wash. So what I'm going to need to do now is just let that dry. And then we've got a bit of tone up here. Again, I'm just going to take some water, spread that out a little bit into this fallen bit of the log. <coughs> So this comes all the way up and sort of becomes tips down, a bit more colour. Just hold the brush up, get a bit more paint come out of it. Okay, and then I want some more of those light stringy tones coupled through this little air hole. To give the impression that there's, I don't know, um, vines or branches kind of um, sticking through there. Just soften that off. Then I'm going to take a dilute um, version of the same colour, but just putting more water in it. And I'm just going to start to block in some of these darker areas. And this is on dry paper now at the moment. So again, leaving a little bit of the undercolour showing through. Take that all the way out. A bit more um, of the dilute colour. So more water in it. <clears throat> Bring some of that into this trunk. Goes around the corner there, down, and then it kind of comes down and then into our root bundle. So I'm just going to start to add some, just some darker pieces of tone. I'm going to tip that up a bit, the glare is pretty bad. Just going to take a brush, loosen all that off. run that away it's a bit too too strong there take some more of the dark this time i'm going to put a bit more <clears throat> might have a little bit of blue now i think into that same dark color almost like a, a prussiany blue and i'm going to dip that in here Get some variation in my darks. And these then are all the, <clears throat> the grasses, the kind of, or the darker bits of grass. They're kind of growing where it's been eroded. <clears throat> Take my dark again. More Payne's Green in that, so it's very dark. Let's take the rigger. I'm just going to wiggle this in a kind of a random fashion and wet it up there. Just 
just to link all of this together. Take some more of the darker colors. So I'm purposely trying to leave some of these little lighter pieces um, just at the bottom down here. So that um, we don't lose all of the that under colour. More water. Wash some of that out. Coming back, darker again. A bit more grey, I feel this time. <clears throat> so coming up and around some of those little areas. And then we're into our grasses up here. A few little dips and dots of colour. A bit more brown. <clears throat> Drop some browns in there. Back to my rigger. Just going to run these out and down. This is on dry paper. Uh, just to get these little stringy areas to work together. Coming down trying to keep it the feeling of um so you've got like little holes and um areas that aren't linking together so you want to leave little gaps and try not to make the holes all the same shape because that's another kind of thing that breaks the illusion of it being natural looking and on the ends mainly is where the holes are not in the not in the core body of the bundle it's more on the edges so that's where you want to focus those those little holes if you can so coming down i've got some blue in it now some cerulean blue again for another variation of color in my bundle. So we've got some more coming down here. Kind of lose some of these areas, they're a bit too too light. Drop a bit more colour in there. Just with the cerulean into that same mix. And then the gray, the darker gray color continues across until we get to our stringy area, which is over here. So I'm just going to take that brownie, brownie gray color and run that all the way across with a little spray. Just to break the edge up. And into that, I'm going to drop some some more blues, some of the browns, and then also some of the greys to get this a bit stronger through here. So we've got some really nice dark dark greys. Spray that again. Get that to bleed. Coming a bit too far there. Soften that off. And then I want to link this now with my um, netting area. So I'm just going to run some of that grey into the netting. 
because this is like um, bushes and shrubs and all sorts going on up there. Let's get some darks up here. More panes grey. Bring that down into my trunk here. A few dark leaves. Uh, Few dark branches. A bit more dark there. Continue the darks up a little bit higher. We go a bit browner now. We're just using some burnt umber. Again, laying this on over the top of the netting. <clears throat> Bit of dry brushing, just to link it together. I'll spray that a little bit as well. <clears throat> now I need to get a little bit more Just spray that root a little bit <clears throat> there's a teeny bit of shadow that i'm going to link that to now i'm going to take some blue i'm going to use some ultramarine <clears throat> and Payne's gray together Too dark, it's come a bit lighter, put more water in it. And I'm going to take my shadow coming from about here, it's going to come down the bank. I'm going to link with these root bundles all the way across, and we'll give the impression that there's a little bit of shadow across the beach. As dappled light, like so. And take some of those bluey grey brown colours, pop them in back here. So that we've got some slightly darker colours back in the distance. along my beach here and then a watery watery version of that so very watery in the distance here just behind the tree coming down the beach again and a few pebbles there on the um, on the sand or the stony area, whatever you want to call it. So I'm just going to loosen up this edge a bit. It's a bit heavy. Okay. Now, I'm just going to go into the foliage area now. Up into the um, up into the top area up here for a moment or two, just to get a bit more colour on up there. I'm going to again take some clean water, and I'm not going to wet everything. I am just going to drop some random bits of water, so that we still have some of the yellows showing through. Um, once we drop on our slightly darker greens. So let's just 
We'll drop a bit of water on there, and then I'm going to take my darker green now. Uh, again, the olivey type green with some yellow in it. So it's not a dark, dark green, but it's darker than the yellow that's on here. I'm going to start to drop this on and let it um, merge with the colour that's already there. We'll just wiggle the brush. Try and keep it fairly random. Keep it interesting, or as interesting as it can be. <clears throat> A bit more of the olive and yellow. As you come closer to the tree itself, I don't want the foliage to be too thick. I'm going to just have it as like little dips and dots. Bit of green down here. On the edges, we'll have a little bit of that, some more of that green in the distance. Continue this across. And I need some more water now because I'm running out of the area where I put the water. So let's just re wet some of this side. <coughs> plenty of plenty of water on there. Coming down down to the netting area. <clears throat> Again, all of the kind of green this time, I'm going to put a touch of the burnt sienna in it, just to brown it up a touch. So it's not green, green, too green. Just want a bit more brownness to it. Because after all, this is a kind of a um, turn of each, so a bit more yellow in that. Drop some of that in. More yellows. And we'll come a bit more with cerulean now. Put a bit of cerulean in that same mix. Just dropping it in. Flick it. More down towards the netting area. I'm use my rigger now so I get some stringy, wiry marks so that we've got lots of um, bits of vine or twig coming up there. Just to link all of this together. And we'll have some of this coming down into here. Up the back of these trunks, cutting across. Some of that in there. Some of those darker colours. OK, 
Okay, right, so while I let that dry, I'm gonna just unmute all your mics and just see how everybody's getting on. Uh, just blot off maybe a little bit, my dear. It's a bit heavy. This area in a vertical fashion. Get my orangey colours. Start to just drop some of those in. Kind of here and there. There we go. Particularly against the blue should work quite nicely. Um, and give quite a nice orangey blue kind of effect. So some of that needs to be bank in there. Actually, I might extend the bank out a little bit further. I quite like that orange and blue together, that's quite nice. So we'll bring that down to the beach area. And then we'll have a few of those, and then maybe just like little spots to suggest pebbles or, or stones. Bit more through here. Coming across. So as it hits the um, as it hits the beach, it's slightly darkened. We'll get a little bit of that in there. Some more of the orange over on this right hand side. Put that on dry. <clears throat> I'll just wash the bottom out. Give it a soft bottom. <laughs> Tease that along the beach a little bit there. Now I'm going to have a little bit more of that orange, I think, inside the rooty area to suggest that there's another bank in here. Put it on a little bit stronger, which will help hopefully the roots to show up. I'm just painting the little abstracty sections. behind uh, the roots um, just to try and get them to be a bit more prominent. A little bit there, a bit more there. Okay, and then I'm going to take some might even just take a little bit of gouache now, just so that I show you what we're going to do with that. We'll take a little bit of turquoise. Uh, this is actually cobalt till. This is a very quite a bright colour. So with this, I'm going to just punch a few little air holes, just straight out of the tube, nice and neat. So some of these little holes in here, I'm going, to put, I'm going to make them a bit more tealy. Just to increase the colour a little bit more. Have some of that up here. Just some spits and spots of that. Different places. Have some of that in the netting. <clears throat> uh, we'll have a little bit over here in the root bundle. Perhaps we'll make this one a bit bluer. Okay. 
that, wherever it's gone. Round brush again. And I'm going to go slightly darker again now into the tree trunks. And in actual fact, what I might do is put a bit more gum arabic on there. Ooh. Lightly dilute it. Actually, I might put the water on first and then put the gum arabic on. So let's just wet this trunk here all the way down. Put a little bit of gum arabic on that. Okay, and I'm going to take my colour, which I'm going to use um, the dark sort of Payne's grey with the um, cerulean in it and a bit of orange. And I'm going to drop that into into this area. We'll bring that all the way down to the to the roots. So this comes right the way down. Slightly darker in there. Just start to define where some of these branches come through. So we've got a nice dark branch here. And it comes across. And it's very important when you do all these branches and stuff to make sure you get plenty of overlap so that you get a lot of variation in the um, in the way that they kind of form, which will make it feel more natural. Darker here. So this shape in here is going to be a lot darker. Coming all the way up. A bit higher up. Leave a little gap there so it doesn't bleed too much. Take that up into the trees. Give it a little flick. <clears throat> okay, coming around this tree here. So just using the one colour for doing all this. Oh, that's got a bit fat there, never mind. Have to make it a bit larger here. Bend that around there. A few little. Verticals there. Round that hole. We've got a branch that kind of cuts through the middle there. And across all the way across here, then it splits into two. I could just join these up. <clears throat> 